Hello, I'm the Noob21, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get custom mods on your Wii U games. So first off, you're going to need an SD card that has already have the Homebrew Launcher installed. If you don't already have the Homebrew Launcher installed on your Wii, or through a web browser, then you will want to do that first. And then you will need SD Caffeine. I will have this zip file in the description if you need it. So I can right click and extract this folder. And we can go into this folder and we can see these are the items that we need that will run the mods. So we want to go out. We want to hover over this and make sure that the files inside this are those files. And then we can copy this folder. And then we can go into our SD card, Wii U, and then your apps folder. There will be these inside. And we can right click and paste. It will copy onto here and you'll see this. That means you've done it correct. Now we can exit out of this. And we need some Wii U mods. So what we can do is we can go into here. And for this tutorial, I am doing Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, just to prove that every game on the Wii U works, as long as you have a mod. So I can click Download from Game Banana, and we can go and save this to our folder. We can now minimize our Google Chrome, and then unzip this folder. We can also delete the zip files. We won't need them once your folders are extracted. So we can go into here, and there will be a folder called Content. You may have one with already the title ID, which is a bunch of 16 random numbers and letters. But for this tutorial, we have a Content folder. So what we want to do in order to play these mods is we want to go back to our base folder. We want to right click and New Folder. And then we have to create a folder called SD Caffeine, but there is no uppercase letters or no spaces. SD Caffeine. And we want to make sure it's spelled exactly like this, or else the mods won't work. So from here, we have this, and we have the content folder. We can copy this folder into SD Caffeine. this SD caffeine and we can paste it but there's one last thing we need to do we need to tell SD caffeine to run the mods for a specific game so in order to do this we need to have the title ID which is what I mentioned earlier so we want to go in here Google Chrome again and then go to the title database and then from here we can press Control F on the website and we can look for our game. My game is Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, so I can type in Ultra Smash and voila, we have our game. Now there is a USA version and a European version. I am doing a USA console, so I will use the USA title ID, but if you are in Europe, you can use this title ID and it will work the same. So we can copy this and go back into our file explorer. We want to then create a new folder and paste our title ID. Now we want to delete this dash because we can't have any dashes. It has to be only the 16 uh, hexadecimal ID. And from here we can drag and drop our folder to move it here. Once you have that, your mods are 100% set up, and we can copy this folder to the root of your Wii U SD card, and we can paste it. Once this is finished, you can then exit from this file explorer and remove your SD card from your computer and place it back into the Wii.
so as you can see now, I am on my Wii U and my SD card is inserted. I can now launch the homebrew launcher through whatever method you use. I am using the HacksG method, so I can just boot it from my home screen and I can go to the right and you will see SD caffeine and we can load the mod. Once it loads, it will return you back to the Wii U menu, and you can go into your game. Right now, I am choosing a game that's on my system memory, but this also works the same if you have a disc. So I can start up Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. And the game will be loaded. And I can go into tennis, and some of my other mods have also loaded. But as you can see, my mod for Jay Z and the Mario Strikers outfit is completely loaded. So we can start that. Okay, so we're at the end of the video, and I'm about to showcase some of my gameplay. I think you all know what happens next. I'm please asking you to subscribe. It supports the channel a lot and helps me to grow and more people to see these tutorials. But if you don't subscribe, that's perfectly fine. You have a life to live. Anyways, goodbye.